Come for the cocktail, stay for the camera lesson. This is Cocktail Camera. What's up everybody, I'm Jordan Hughes, and we just made the More Supreme, which is a cocktail originally created by Atlanta-based bartender Alec Bales. It really is just a daiquiri, which is simple syrup, lime juice, and rum, but this one is made with a rum agricole, which is rum that is made from fresh-pressed sugarcane juice versus a lot of other rum, which is made from sugarcane molasses. The result is a rum that is a lot more vegetal, has a lot of funk to it. Uh, it tends to remind people of tequila when they first try it. And then as you saw, we sunk just a little bit of Campari into the bottom of this drink. So as you sip it, you start to get some of those bitter orange flavors. Now that we have our cocktail, you know, the camera drinks first, you gotta shoot it before you sip it. So let's figure out how we want to photograph this drink. I am in my studio in just another corner of it, and I have these big, beautiful west-facing windows, so I think I'm just gonna use some natural light for this photo. So it's a little after one o'clock in the afternoon. I have some nice indirect light coming from this window. It might start getting harsher as the sun kind of gets over to this side of the building, but I'm going to set up my drink right here on this table. But first things first, I'm going to turn off my overhead lights uh, simply because they are much warmer and natural outdoor light is much cooler and I don't want conflicting color temperatures in my photo. Overhead lights are off. Now I'm carefully bringing my cocktail over to this table and I'm going to remove my cool little samurai whiskey bottle. He just doesn't really need to be in this photo. So I'm shooting with a Sony a7 IV with a 90 millimeter macro lens, and I'm gonna shoot kind of down low to this cocktail. It's got that cool detail with the kind of layered effect with the red Campari on the bottom. It also has a little bit of the black pepper on top that I want to show. Uh, so to do this, I'm going to backlight my cocktail. I really, with a lot of cocktail imagery, I'm almost always backlighting. Just having that light come from behind or from the side of a drink just helps those small details really stand out, especially when there's cool colors or cool glassware. Having that strong backlighting just, again, makes those details really pop. So shooting down low here, and what I'm looking for is, of course, contrast in the image. So I want to have, uh, at least with this photo, I have the, the white marble surface, and then I have kind of a black textured wall that I want to use as the background, which will provide some nice contrast with the drink. Once again, looking for those details and those colors to stand out. And I'm just making very small movements to see where the drink kind of catches the light. You know, I really, again, really want that red to stand out. But I'm also looking for uh, that surface area there. You can see like the surface tension with the black pepper and you kind of get a little bit of a nice reflection from the windows and that just adds to the dimension of the drink. A lot of people always ask, for you know, how do you get rid of reflections in cocktails or in glassware or when you're shooting bottles? And for me, I'm, I'm not generally trying to get rid of reflections. I'm trying to figure out how can I use them to my advantage because reflections add shape and dimension to glassware and bottles. So 
I'm not trying to get rid of them. I'm trying to figure out how to use them well. Now I'm going to scoot the drink back towards the edge of the table here, and I might shoot down at it a little more. Again, trying to show a little more detail on the surface. Now I don't like that kind of electrical piping cutting through the back of my image, but that's probably fairly easy to remove in Photoshop afterwards. And as you can see, I'm just slightly changing my shooting angle, trying to find the right perspective that shows that red layered detail as well as the pepper on the surface. So when it comes to photographing cocktails, number one is backlighting is your friend, especially when you have cool color differences or unique glassware, that strong backlight just helps those details really stand out. Number two is that you should look for texture and contrast in your setting, especially in your background. Number three, make small adjustments to your shooting angle as you photograph, just so you can play with different ways that the light hits your subject. So kind of a bonus number four is to not look at reflections as something you need to remove or eliminate. Rather, reflections can add dimension to your subject. So move around, try to figure out how to use those reflections to your advantage. Oh yeah, make sure you subscribe to the channel or go to cocktailcamera.com if you wanna learn about more nerdy camera stuff.